Tyler with Alcan Spring, bringing the updates for the new Orbit Eye anti wrap bar that we are producing and putting out now. Um, we have the Hemi YJ here set up, getting ready to put the new one on it. And this is the kit that you'll receive. Um, two inch quarter wall DOM lower, inch and a half quarter wall upper, your axle mounts, bushings, sleeves, and then the Orbit Eye. The Orbit Eye is the most important part for this set up because the Jeep has all the Orbit Eyes. So we want we want that anti-rep bar to articulate just as much as the springs do. So we're putting an Orbit Eye so that it does. Um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna get into installing this on the Hemi YJ again. This is a 14 bolt rear axle. So we're gonna have to get everything set up and welded, but we will walk you through step by step on how to get the anti-rep bar actually set up. So now the next step is to assemble your shackle end and your axle end. These axle mounts do come with little tabs. There's normally a tab here, a tab here, and a tab here. That's for different fitment of different axle sizes. So for this 14 bolt, we had to clear out a couple of them to just ensure that it fits nice on the axle tube. So what we'll do now is we'll assemble the two DOM sleeves, come with bushings and bolt sleeves. This one's already done. We need to Put these, a little bit of prothane grease helps out a lot with these and a tool to compress them. If I knew how to use it. So those two DLM sleeves are done. Now it'll come with these two 916 bolts. Take these off. Run your bolts through the holes. I like to use the farthest apart just to ensure you get all the leverage for this kit these back on and remember this will just be a mock-up because we're not going to weld them with the bushings in we're just going to tack everything in place at the moment to get our tubes and everything done you'll need a 13 16 socket and a 7 8 wrench to put these on is ready for mock-up. We'll put that to the side and we'll do the shackle. Same thing with the sleeve. You get two protein bushings. Go in. Push your 916 sleeve in like so. And this is how we're going to set up the Orbit Eye side of this. Ultimately, the two pieces of DOM are going to meet the Orbit Eye. So, we need to ensure that the shackle end can be tacked in place, ready to go. These two shackle mounting brackets come with. That one doesn't want to go on that side. So, I'll put those on so we can tack them in place as well. Insert the bolt. Put your nut on. These will also come back out because I don't want to burn up the orbita or the bushings. Tighten that guy. Tighten your orbit eye. And that's ready for mock up. Alright, so next part is tacking them in place and make sure that we got them where we want. 
All right, now with the help of a helper, make sure you got your um, axle side where you want it. You want your lower link to be a little bit below the drive shaft, and the upper link obviously is going to be where it's going to be. So now I'll just tack this in place enough to hold it, uh, just in case we do need to move it again. But this is ultimately what it will look like. For final installation, also make sure you put your bolts the right way because it's what you can't normally get the bottom one out. So we'll tack this one up and uh, we'll move on to the front. All right, you guys ready? Got tacked in place. I'll probably add another tack on the outside just to make sure. But with that tacked in place, we can continue on with the installation. So now we'll go to the front side. All right, now we've got the shackle in place on our cross member. This is gonna be the part of this kit that may or may not come with, um, just because every vehicle is gonna be different. You know, this kit for this YJ, it's a 109 inch wheelbase now. It's not a 94.3 anymore. So it's going to be extremely universal. Um, so the piece you may have to source is a cross member. If you have a cross member, you'll be good to go. Um, just that's when we need to know different lengths of the tubing you need. So with that in place, now I've got my shackle perpendicular straight up and down at ride height. We're on jack stands and at ride height. So now we'll finish weld this shackle in. We'll weld that end in a little more and then we'll start getting our measurements for our upper and lower DOM pipe to go to my orbit eye here. All right, so this kit, we got a piece of two inch DOM for the bottom link. We're gonna go from the bushing mount on this side all the way up to our orbit eye. And so we'll weld this one straight to the orbit eye sleeve that we have. And then once this one's tacked in place real good so it won't move, we'll cut the upper to come from here to where it meets this sleeve here. And it's a piece of cake and it's finished weld. All right, so with the bottom tacked in place, we got the upper bar trimmed and fitted. It's gonna gut, or it's gonna sit flush on that DOM tube there, but then up here is gonna be a real long, depending on your length and angles and everything like that, it's gonna be a real long cut. We find it easiest just to do it with a, a grinder. Um, but now that this is in place, it goes to the end of my tube here. I'll tack all this up, tack all that end up, and pull this out. Weld it on the bench. Add a, we'll probably add a gusset in here in the middle. And uh, finish weld everything up, and that should be it. All right, well, we got the bar all finished welded. We finished welded in the shackle mounts and the uh, actual axle mount side. We're going to paint it later. We just For this instance, we're just going to install it, show you the finished product. This is the anti rat bar with the orbit eye in the end. And that's really it. This is gonna solve all the, the high horsepower and lots of torque issue for this Jeep especially and fix any of yours, especially when you got a flexible set of springs like ours. So yeah, let's put this thing in. back installed lifted it back up on the lift and now you can see it a little bit better we did add this gusset right here in the middle with a little bit of the leftover inch and a half DOM just to ensure if that lower link hits something I'm sure it will um, it's a little more protected and it won't bend so. that's it took the Jeep outside and threw it on the forklift to flex it out and show you what the Orbit Eyes do and why we incorporated one into the anti-wrap bar. Um, a lot of traditional anti-wrap bars will bind up a little bit, but since this one has an Orbit Eye in the very front, it's going to move the exact same mount as the springs themselves. Um, so it doesn't inhibit any kind of flex. Look, I mean, the springs are doing what they need to do right now and everything is perfect. So. That's why we did it, and that's why we're selling it now. 
So get yourself an anti-rat bar with an orbit eye in it.